guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to do the quickest tutorial for sports photography, hopefully under five minutes. To get started, switch your camera on, click on the Q button, take your shutter, um, your shutter speed high as you can, the higher the better for this, because um, you want a very, 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 very quick shutter speed. Then your f-stop needs to be as low as you can, but you need a three in the middle lens. Auto, uh, ISO, leave that on auto, let the camera control the light sensitivity. Um, the next one is your um, high speed shot, so click on that. I'm, doing, I'm using Canon 5D Mark III, so you got one shot, you got low speed continuous, you got slow one shot and slow continuous slow shots. Click on the high one, select that because you want quick, 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 quick. Um, go back to your Q button, select AI server mode, make sure that's selected, let the camera do all the tracking for the focusing, select that one. Um, evaluating mode, expand it, let the camera do more work to get more um, elements within the frame. White balance, leave it in auto. If you're outside, maybe put it on sunlight, but leave it on auto. Let the camera do the work on that one as well. Um, key thing is um, to make sure that you know your shutter speed is high and your aperture is low, and make sure you have a 300 mil lens, a big lens, in order to be able to do this. Go to file size. Take it down to medium to small because you're going to take lots and lots of shots on a continuous burst at you know high quality on a camera like this. So you want to make sure that your file sizes are small. Um, so those are your settings for this. Next one, you're going to click on the Q button, um, and you've got your histogram over here. So you might want to sort of kind of have your um, scene um, in line like this, and then you've got this little icon here which is the HDR so you, I will put on HDR so high, shoot images with wide tonal value so if you're doing sports photography you're doing the Formula 1 for example the flashy colourful car select that so you get a nice colour ratio um, again go back to Q button um, next thing is focusing so I got the focus button, focus icons here I've clicked on the focus button over here and you can hover through my advice to you is select the select the evaluative focus mode in order to get the better focusing point. So here I can select it like this, um, you know, and I can sort of hover through it like this, um, and I can set it how I, how I want it to be as well. So again, if I just demonstrate that again, I went really, really quick on that one. Um, Q button to see um, this, click on this button here, okay? Take me to my uh, menu. And then here I can sort of select the focus points where and where I want my area to focus. Again, if you've got AI server for server on, it should automatically track what you're doing anyway. So that was my really, really quick tutorial how to do sports photography under three minutes. Please subscribe, please um, message if you've got any comments. I've done this very, very quickly. Basically, in a nutshell, high shutter speed, low um, aperture, auto ISO. Um, sh small manual uh, file size, high continuous burst mode, large lens, and precious sh uh, sh uh, and shoot with block shoots, block um, continuous burst modes, and have you on AI server tracking mode to track subjects to ensure that the subjects are being tracked by the camera as opposed to you doing it manually. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please do post.